Hi lovelies, welcome. I'm Tula. This is my platform. This is going to be a love reading for Taurus. Whether you have Taurus as a sun, moon, rising, or a stellium. And stellium just means that you have three or more placements of a zodiac sign in your natal chart. So if you are a cross watcher and you are crazy about a Taurus, or if you're new to my platform, welcome. I'm an intuitive reader that loves incorporating my gift of sight, sound, and feeling into the readings. And over the years, I've incorporated decks into my car, into my readings, whether they are tarot and or oracle. Now they do one of two things. They either confirm something I already saw or they give insight into something I was not able to pick up or the tarot could not reveal. So I'm going to pull these aside and I'm going to start with these beautiful messages of love oracle cards. And I want you to relax Torians as I sit here and I shuffle and I pull the strongest energy regarding your love life. Be sure to relax your shoulders. Pause the video if you need to and get yourself a cup of coffee, a cup of hot tea, cold glass of lemonade, or even a glass of wine, depending on the time you are watching this. So I'm pulling in on the strongest energy for Taurus. Taurus, what is it that the collective Taurians need to know for their love life? Strongest energy for the Taurians, beautiful earth, sensual signs, passion. So you are being called upon, really challenge. Try something you haven't done before. Are you stuck in a routine? Are you stuck in a rut? Step out of your comfort zone. Do something you love. What have you been avoiding? Are you looking to make a change? Cut your hair if you want to. Okay, there's also a message for you to go slow. So have you been kind of running yourself to the ground, working too much, not taking a break for yourself, not, not taking care of yourself because you're too busy taking care of everyone else? Well, now's the time to. Okay, so for some of you, this the message... I almost want to say the spirit of forgiveness, but the message of, of forgiveness has come through here. Now it's saying you either need to forgive yourself, okay, or by forgiving someone from the past will help you move forward. So that could be a very big blockage in your forward movement. And some of you may not realize it, but you're in a routine of avoidance. And constantly filling your time with things that just occupy and take up your space and your time. And spirit is reminding you to go slow. And for a lot of you, it has to do with a connection of forgiving somebody or yourself. Okay? And that's not always easy, but it is doable. And it is very therapeutic in releasing a lot of weight, metaphorically speaking, from your shoulders, okay? Oh, I felt that heaviness as I was feeling that energy. And that's a lot. That's a lot for you, Torians. Now, a lot of you are going through some kind of an awakening with somebody. And I will tell you, a lot of these awakenings are not hunky-dory. They are just not. They are not Disney um, style themes. Some of these awakenings are rough and they will put you through hell and you end up looking like a little hot mess afterwards, but you are definitely not the same person afterwards as when you began this awakening. Okay. So I can only basically pray for you because awakenings are transformative and it's usually when we're not ready for them. Sometimes there's resistance. Now, with the vulnerability card that came out, there's someone in your circle that you're able to be your whole self with. Not this face that we put on when we go out in a public, but like when you go home and take the mask off, that kind of vulnerability. Like with your hair in rollers or in a bonnet and you have your face mask on or you've been ugly crying and they're still there. Someone you can be vulnerable with. Okay, it doesn't have to be the opposite sex. Could be a very good friend. 
but we will find out as this reading progresses. So let's see. Oh my Lord. Finances. So some of you are working a lot, not because you have something to block your, your mind from, but that's because finances are becoming an issue. I don't know if your rent went up. I don't know if you had some car repairs or if child care went up. Something happened to where you had to tighten, you have to tighten your, your financial belt. And if you're dating someone, this has become a complication in the connection. So there's something, there's something you already know what to do. And I feel like you looking at these tarot readings, you just want it as a confirmation, but you already know the answer and you would know precisely what that is. So I want to pull one more and then I'm going to go on the romance angel cards because I'm not really picking up a love issue right now. Well, I'll tell you some. Okay, these came out together. So basically, there was a rejection. And I feel it's with this person that is like never got over you. So someone, for some of you, there is someone that's secretly longing for you. Someone that you had to close a door on. Someone that you had to reject. Someone that you had to walk away from. Because they have been messy, they were messy at the time, or going through things, or or not mature, or whatnot. But just so you know, okay? Now, I don't want to pull any more messages of love cards. I will go ahead and pull the romance angel cards and see what energy populates from here, what messages come through. And then I will know how to navigate the reading with the tarot, what to ask the tarot. But let me see here for you for you Torians one moment Torians I hope you've had a great day let's see Taurus's love life what message you deserve love it's very interesting another card came up with that too I think the Cancerians did forgiving and learning Okay, as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. See how the, the two messages from two different decks came out with forgiving? So now that message is becoming stronger for those of you that are not taking heed to this. Okay, it is important to release that pain, to acknowledge it, to allow yourself to feel the pain and to work at forgiving. Everyone learns in life. Nobody is perfect. It's impossible. There's no such thing as perfect when you're alive and walking on God's green earth. It's just not about that. So separation, time apart from your person is on the horizon. For those of you that are in a connection where the finances are kind of weighing heavy on this connection, I'm not picking up. Picking up. It's a very committed relationship or that it's been a long-term one so therefore separation will be easy with this person now it could be very possible in the process of the separation you will both have an awakening and you will come together me i'm not really feeling that for a lot of you i feel like that's a very small percentage of you i feel I'm going to say, Torians, I feel that you're in separation with someone, but it's not like you're on a break. I feel like the doors were closed and you're separated from each other. And it's quite possible that that's the person that is secretly longing for you. But you would never know them. Even if you see them like every Monday on the street corner on the way to work, you would just, you know, as an example, you would have no idea that this person yearns for you. Like their heart literally aches for you. They miss you. They miss your touch. They miss looking at your face. They miss hearing you laugh in the morning. But for a lot of you, you just don't feel that way. That's why the rejection was there because it's unrequited. So what's going on? I just want to say like there's a dead calm. Could it be because you're just so single right now, Taurus? Let's see, heart-to-heart -heart conversations, honestly discuss your feelings with each other, and keep an open mind. Your soul may, may differ from your usual type and expectations. I'm going to say something. I feel, and I can't remember for the life of me which, which uh, sign this was, but for you, this is applicable for you. 
I feel right now you're single. I really don't heart-wise feel like you were with someone. So at this point, Taurus, you would know whether this message aligns with you or not. I feel you are basically single. If there's someone there in the background, eh, it's not that serious. That's why there might be a separation because you're just not feeling it, right? Or they may not be feeling this connection and you could, but I, I'm not, I'm feeling from your end, you're just not having it. I feel you're bored. I feel you're going through the motion of every day and God forbid that you feel like it's an existence because that's what we don't want you to feel. Okay. So I'm going to ask Tara what to expect in terms of your love life, honestly. And if the tarot shows that there's someone from the past coming in, well, then that message message is going to be loud and clear. But again, if it's not your message, never make it work. So let's see. I do have this. I'm going to give this a real good shuffle because I'm just feeling like calm waters. And I feel Taurus, you don't want calm waters. Not that you want some happy, I mean, some chaos, but you do want a little bit of a happy chaos. You want... I think you want some excitement i'm picking up energetically you want to you want to feel alive again you want to meet someone worthy of substance damn taurus believe me i understand that a little all too well so let's see what can taurus expect what can the taurians expect these beautiful sensual just loving earth signs what can the tauruses expect when it comes to love Help me convey this message. Okay. You're going to start dating. Which is, oh, God. You're going to have options, honey. Strong water, water signs coming in. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. This came upside down, and normally I don't read upside down. But any, you're, you're, I feel you've been through it so much. You know how to detect if anyone is full of red flags. No one with red flags is coming in. Nope, you're going to put a hard stop to that. So anyone that's coming through is not about that life, okay? What can Taurians expect in their love life? Okay. That's you, Taurus, Queen of Pentacles. That's you, honey. Look, look I mean, I have to say a lot of you are situated. Even if you have a little bit of financial pressure on you but you're just not satisfied i mean look at the look at her face she's just like uh and what it's like the everyday routine we don't want it to get stale and it will not you can't see it right now but you're gonna have oh my god you, honey you're gonna be attracting a lot of people and i'm gonna say a lot of you have some strong intuition i don't know if you've been practicing some kind of um taking some metaphysical classes, if you're learning astrology, if you're learning the tarot, if you're tuning into your, I almost want to say it like this, chakras, but they're chakras, and you're basically, you're stepping out of your little comfort zone. Okay, let's see. Love life, specific love life, love life. You could attract someone who's into the occult, doesn't have to be. Oh, look at that. Huh. Now, as a reader, do you know how I see this? This is your soulmate. Yep. Queen and King of Pentacles. King and Queen of Pentacles. But you're not in each other's lives right now. So you may go through a dating period before you meet this person. That's for damn sure. Some of you, you may meet them through their sister however that comes into play okay you may go through a little bit of a funky period before you come across them meaning you may date a few people that just uh, don't do it for you or until you come out out of this feeling of staleness like the existence right Ugh. I can feel that. It doesn't feel good, Taurus. I don't like that you're feeling that. But I understand it. Because your standards are high and you want to meet the one. Right? Oh, let me show you what fell down. You're going to love this. Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands. Ace of Swords. We have the Magician here. 
I feel when someone meets you, they're going to do everything they can to get in your life somehow. I almost want to say, be careful. This is a person jack of all trades. So I don't know if this is your soulmate or not, but there's someone that you're going to come across that when they meet you, they're going to want to appear like everything you ever wanted. Let me, let me get a card. Yeah. And you might, you might get a little feeling about them because this is the one I'm worried about. The magician. Give me one more card on the, magi the magician. I don't feel it's a soulmate. One more. Okay, I guess it was just for this. So for some of you, you may meet someone that's that that they will look you up. They will try to be everything that you're interested in. Let's say you're into the metaphysical, right? They will start talking about things they know about the occult or the metaphysical world, spiritual things. Or if you're into astrology, they're going to start telling you things that they know about astrology and the zodiac signs and ask you if you know about sidereal or Vedic. I mean, you know. It's not likely because not many people know about that, but, um, someone that's going to try to be what you want, but I feel that your world will really come alive. Like probably your seventh house when you meet this King of Pentacles, because this is your forever person. Like I mentioned, a, ta a reader knows, like when I saw him come out or her, like if you're a Taurus male, you're going to meet your, your female or same sex, however it works out. And you have more of the masculine and they do not, or, or vice versa. Or if you're the female and this is the male, basically you're going to be happy. You're going to be with the one. You're not going to be looking down. You're going to be with this person in a happy home. You're going to make a life together. That's going to be filled with happiness. But you know what I want to do? I want to pull a different deck because I, I want either further clarification or I want confirmation on what I'm seeing here. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's raining outside. Sometimes the rain is pretty. Actually, I love rain. I love thunderstorms and thunder and heavy rain, and but not a lot. <laughs> not all the time. Okay, I love it when I'm nice and cozy in my home. I'm blessed for that. Okay, so let's see. For the Taurians, the Taurians and this new person, they're, they're a new person. Like I said, you will be dating a few people before you meet this person. Yeah, you will have choices. You will definitely have choices. Taurians and their love life. This is you. This is also you, the Queen of Wands. A little bit of a financial strain, but let's focus in on his future love, future love, future love, future love. Okay, there we go. You will be happy. You're going to be happy with yourself first, and then you're going to attract this happiness. I'm feeling this is more of the magician. So yeah, as you date people, you're going to come across your good ones, and you're going to come across a few rotten apples. Just, you will know how not to get attached. You're very smart, Taurus. You're, you're very smart. New love, new love, new love. I feel like I have to constantly say it. Yeah, we'll be passionate. A little bit of hot temper. Not quite. Maybe a secret admirer for a while. Is going through their own personal transformation right as we speak. Okay, strong Scorpio energy, somewhere strongly in their chart. But right at this moment, they're going through their own personal hell. They're very strong. They're going to come out of it. They're, this person is very in, intense, powerful, transformative. Could be a little bit older than you too. Definitely into the occult somehow or into the spiritual world or into mantras, tantras, uh, like tantric world or... They were just no things of the underworld, the spiritual world, have had experiences of the supernatural. Okay, they will they will have that side to them. 